I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will try to understand how to find angles between lines. So we will start with a very basic concept and that is to say that if we have two vectors A and vector B in that case what is the dot product of A and B? Dot product of A and B is equals to A magnitude of A times magnitude of B times cosine theta where theta is the angle between them. Now this equation can be used to find the angle between lines where A and B are representing the lines. So we could rearrange and write down that cos theta is equal to the dot product of two vectors divided by their magnitudes product right. So that gives you the formula and of course theta will be then equals to cos inverse of the dot product divided by the magnitude right a times p magnitude right so that gives you an expression to find the angle between any two lines now what are a and b in context of lines now it really depends on the type of line you are given. Let us say we are given two lines and they are given in the vector form. So let us say line 1 could be represented uh, as, uh, let us say, let me just write down some equation here. Let us say it goes through point 1 and 2 uh, plus it has a direction which is, let us say, uh, minus 1 and 3. The other line which we have is uh, let us say uh, goes through the point uh, let's say 4 and 3 and uh, it has the direction so that is the direction part 3 and 4 okay where of course t belongs to real numbers right so t belongs to real numbers let's say we have these two lines now we are considering in this example lines in vector form We'll take up more examples where we'll take lines in different forms. We could take a scalar equation that is the Cartesian or parametric form. Okay. Now in this equation, the two vectors which we are talking about are direction numbers, right? So what we see here is the direction number, let's say M1, for us is, is equals to minus 1, 3 and M2 is equals to 3 and 4 right so these are the two directions so the angle between these two lines will be we can use this formula will be the angle which is made because of these directions right so we can write down this formula now and say theta is equals to cos inverse of the dot product of these two correct which is minus 1 3 dot product of 3, 4, correct? So these are the two vectors divided by their magnitudes, right? So magnitudes are square roots of this square plus that square. That is minus 1 square plus 3 square times 3 square plus 4 square. Do you see that? So we could apply this formula and get the result. Is that okay? You could do that separately, fill it up here. So let's do that. Uh, well, now since we have already written, so let's just uh, let's write down here. So we get cos inverse of the numerator will be minus 1 times 3, which is minus 3, plus 3 times 4, which is plus 12. And the denominator here is 1 plus 9, which is square root of 10, times this is 9 plus 16 which is square root of 25 correct so that is what you get which is cos inverse of 12 minus 3 is 9 divided by this is 5 5 square root of 10 is it okay now at this stage you can use the calculator write down your answer in degrees or radians right as you wish so we have cos inverse within brackets of uh, 9 divided by 
let me write this in brackets 5 square root of 10 bracket close bracket close equals to so that gives us an angle of 55.3 degrees correct so that is how you can find the angle between the lines so so we get our answer as the angle between these two lines is let's say theta equals to 55.3 degrees right i hope the concept is clear to you and the steps involved in another video we'll take up lines with different kinds of equations and that should give you good practice i'm anil kumar and I hope that helps. You can always share and subscribe my videos. Thank you and all the best.